The Dallas Cowboys knew exactly what they were doing, so we're going to be going through that and other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video, and if you want more Dallas Cowboys news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The first story is Dallas Cowboys are making a huge offensive change before the Patriots game. The Dallas Cowboys fear the New England Patriots already obtained vital intel before their matchup on Sunday, spurring a notable offensive change. Patriots running back Ezekiel Elliott and backup quarterback Will Greer are former Cowboys who could explain the meaning of offensive hand signals. This will help Patriots head coach Bill Belichick design a better game plan. Consequently, Cowboys offensive coordinator Brian Schottenheimer will modify them. We know Will knows where a lot of the bones are buried, Schottenheimer said Tuesday, per ESPN's Todd Archer. We know Zeke does as well. I'm sure Greer is definitely being interrogated. On the surface, it appears Schottenheimer is overly paranoid, yet it's a legitimate concern. Both players possess intimate knowledge of the Dallas offense. Elliott starred for the club from 2016 to 22, and Greer was with the Cowboys in 2021 and 2022. Plus, don't put it past Belichick and the Patriots to try to gain an edge. In 2007, the NFL disciplined New England after it taped opposing coaches' hand signals during games. Schottenheimer making a slight change is the right move. The Cowboys' offense must regain mojo after it sputtered in a shocking 28-16 loss to the Cardinals. Against Arizona, Dallas went 1-for-5 in the red zone, and quarterback Dak Prescott threw a game-sealing interception. The New England defense... Fifth in the NFL in yards allowed, already presents a challenging matchup. Also, Dallas has lost five of its last six games against New England since Belichick became Patriots HC in 2000 per Stat Muse. Per ESPN Analytics, the Cowboys hold a 68.6% chance to win. Nonetheless, underestimating a six-time Super Bowl champion is a mistake, so Dallas should intensify its preparation. The second story is that ESPN calls out Dallas Cowboys that they miss Ezekiel Elliott. ESPN analyst Robert Griffin thinks the Dallas Cowboys have an Ezekiel Elliott problem. After the Cowboys suffered an upset loss at the hands of the Arizona Cardinals over the weekend, he thinks the team is missing its former star running back. Griffin pointed out Zeke's ability to move the sticks on third and fourth down. It felt like two or three years everyone was talking about Zeke being washed, Griffin said. But the bottom line is, the Dallas Cowboys miss Zeke right now. Last year he was 17, one on third and fourth down conversions, short yardage situations. In the red zone, when you have a hammer like Ezekiel Elliott, it could take pressure off the quarterback, he continued. The Cowboys seemed just fine in the first two games of the season, defeating their opponents by a combined score of 70. 10. A road trip to Arizona brought Dallas back down to earth, but the Cowboys are still one of the best teams in the league with or without Elliott. The Dallas Cowboys' inability to score touchdowns in the red zone came back to haunt them in the 28-16 loss to the Arizona Cardinals. On five-week three trips to the red zone, Doc Prescott and the offense only scored one touchdown as the Cardinals' defense. Cowboys receiver Michael Gallup is identifying a reason that simply shouldn't happen. Said Gallup, We got too many weapons. We got a lot of plays that we can put in that we can call. It's just up for grabs. So it'll come. We just gotta do it. While there was a lot wrong with Dallas's performance in the desert, one shining light was the return to form of Gallup. After being a bystander for the first two games of the season, Gallup was a focal point of the offense as he hauled in six catches for 92 yards, which was his best return since Thanksgiving back in 2021 in an overtime loss to the Las Vegas Raiders. Normally, such an effort would be cause for celebration, but given how the game played out, Gallup wasn't feeling too upbeat. It wasn't too bad. I got my feet wet again, Gallup said. But it don't feel right since we lost. Definitely had a feeling that it would come this way. Just couldn't pull out the win. One could have been forgiven for thinking that despite all the offensive struggles, that confidence in the group could have wavered during the game. Gallup insists that was never an issue. Every time we get in the huddle, it's got to be seven points, Gallup said. From the center all the way to Dak. Prescott. They all saying gotta go get seven, it's mandatory. So there wasn't any shortage of confidence. That confidence will be tested when Dallas gets down into the red zone against coach Bill Belichick, one of the best X and O defensive coaches ever, and the New England Patriots on Sunday. The third story is Dallas Cowboys reveal their biggest problem in their Cardinals loss. The first two weeks had been the calm before the storm. 
There will be those that will suggest that the wins over both New York teams papered over the cracks that Arizona exposed so effectively in the 28. 16 loss. Now this, of course, could be true. But then again, you can look to any team and see a small chink in the armor. This is the Dallas Cowboys, though, and the intense scrutiny is part of the job description. Or at least it should be in there somewhere. There were many reasons why the Cowboys dropped their first game and opened themselves up to a few days of difficult questions. One person in particular will always get the most heat. The quarterback. Doc Prescott has always faced a tough time when things go wrong. Again, that's part of any quarterback job. Facing up to the adversity. The Cowboys under his leadership have had more good times than bad, and no doubt the team does perform better with him calling the plays.